of Plymouth Plantation by William Bradford, written between 1630 and 1651. This is the definitive account of the pilgrims and everything they went through in getting the Mayflower, all their dealings with the Dutch and the English, and setting sail across the ocean to set up camp around Plymouth Rock. I don't usually read primary sources like this, so this was an interesting exercise. I thought it was pretty accessible for being written almost 400 years ago. It's amazing to think that it was that long ago and how far back in history uh, we're talking about. But reading this really brings out the humanity of these people, of this group that just wanted religious freedom. They just wanted to be in their own congregation that's not attached to England, that's not attached to the Dutch. They just wanted to be separate and have their own little spot of land. That's it. It was striking to me how much they depended on their religion to help them because they went through a lot of trials. All sorts of things went wrong. They left too late in the year. There were, were financing problems. There were fights among people. For the first winter, they were, were stuck on this ship and they, they, they barely survived. A lot of them died. And all through that, you have this guy who's writing about how God is blessing them through their trials, how God lets trials happen to them. By far, the best line in this book is William Bradford when he's talking about all these trials that they're going through. He has the line, they knew they were pilgrims. Which I thought was beautiful. Like, if you know that you're setting out on this adventure, you know that you're a pilgrim, you know you're going to be facing hard things. Like, you, you know that you're not signing up for something comfortable and easy. They knew they were pilgrims, so they, they kept going. Which I think was a, a brilliant summary of, of how William Bradford saw him and his group. He talks about how one candle can light a thousand. Uh, so he has this sense of how significant it is that w what they're doing in Plymouth. So the first part of the book is, is how they get to Plymouth and how they get established. Once they get, you get to the late 1620s, the colony starts really prospering, a lot more people come, and then it kind of changes tone a bit because you're dealing with uh, economics and uh, the different situations that start to arise when you have more people. I mean, initially, you have less than 100 people and you have to decide what's the government going to be? What laws are we going to have? How are we going to punish people if they break the laws? And who's going to be the ones to do that? Like, you have to set up a government and a constitution of sorts in, in such a limited setting, which is, is a fascinating idea to me. It, it's, it, it's like, you know, you know, us landing on Mars and having to, like, start over. It's, ah, I think that's one reason why the Pilgrim story is so enduring. Speaking of the Pilgrim story, I have known for a long time that Abraham Lincoln was the one who made Thanksgiving a holiday. But I always wondered, why, did, why the 250-year gap? You know, why, did, why didn't we get Thanksgiving earlier? Turns out that William Bradford, this, this book, he kept it and handed it on to one of his sons, he handed it on to his sons, and so on, until around the American Revolution time, and then it disappeared, and no one knew where it was for a long time. But then, in 1855, they found it in London. And so, the manuscript of Plymouth Plantation by William Bradford was brought back and then there was this new fervor for everything pilgrims related. There was a new sense of, of national pride and like this is how our story began. And that's why we have Thanksgiving. That's how it uh, actually got introduced. By the way, in this book, I didn't catch any notion of a Thanksgiving. I don't think it's mentioned at all. I think that uh, it's from another account. But anyway, happy Thanksgiving. I'll give this book four stars. If you have any recommendations, leave them in the comments below.